Determined to find his father who was lost at sea, a 12-year-old boy and his friends set off on a journey across the ocean to an island that hides a dark secret. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Felix and the Treasure of Morgoth, from 2021. Felix is a teenager who lost his father two years ago during a fishing trip. The boy believes he was lost in the ocean and his biggest dream is to be able to find him again. While the boy packs his bags to embark on an adventure, Rover, his cat, watches the bedroom door to alert him if anyone comes near. His mother is about to go on vacation and will leave her youngest daughter with her sister while Felix travels with Max's parents to Montreal. What she doesn't realize is that this trip is just an excuse for the boy to sail across the ocean in search of his missing father. After saying goodbye to the children, Marlene gets into a cab and heads for the port to start her tropical cruise. After the woman leaves, Felix says goodbye to Mia and Annie and runs up to the tower where Tom and his parrot, Squat, live. Felix then tells him that his mother has just left for the port and asks the old man when they will be leaving. However, the sailor says that sailing at that time of year is a bad idea, as the wind is changing and the waves have become unpredictable. Furious, Felix reminds the old man that he promised that, as soon as they had the chance, they would take a trip to Dark Shadow Island, where his father's boat was last seen. When Jack disappeared, the Coast Guard did everything they could to find him, but two years have passed and no trace of him has been found. Tom claims that there is almost no chance of the man being alive, so it's not worth risking his life on a dangerous journey across the ocean to look for him. Furious at the old man's words, Felix rushes to Max's house and devises a plan to sail alone to the island. When he gets there, he will only have three days to find his father and then it will take him another three days to get back home. In total, their trip will last eight days and, if everything goes according to plan, Felix will be home before his mother returns from the cruise. While he's away, Marlene and Annie will think he's in Montreal with Max and his family. So the boy has to make sure that Felix's aunt doesn't see him walking around the city. The next morning, after agreeing everything with his friend, Felix prepares to leave and decides to take Rover with him on this adventure. The pair then set off on their boat trip and the engine goes off while they are in the middle of the ocean. As Tom predicted, the strong winds caused the waves to get stronger and the boat was destroyed on the very first day of the voyage. After the accident, Felix is relieved to discover that his cat has survived and holds Rover on his lap while he tries to find a way back to the beach. Just then, a ship approaches and the boy is saved by the old man, who has gone to rescue him. When he arrives at the tower, while warming himself in front of the fireplace, Felix is scolded and Tom says that he was very lucky to have survived this stupid plan. However, seeing the boy in tears and desperate to find his father, the old man decides to take him to that island on the condition that if they don't find Jack, Felix will give up looking for him forever. The next morning, after a long night's rest, the pair set off on their journey, so Squad and Rover decide to accompany them. While on the cruise, Marlene misses her children very much and decides to take a look at some old photos. Despite losing her husband two years ago, the woman was never able to get over Jack's perishment and hasn't had a relationship with anyone since. During dinner, Felix asks Tom about the legend that there is hidden treasure on Dark Shadow Island and the sailor says that these stories are not true. The old man reveals that Jack believed in this legend and that's why he went to Dark Shadow Island the day he left on his last fishing trip. According to him, Felix's father was planning to find the treasure, which is protected by a spider called Morga, because the fish factory had closed and he had just lost his job. Just then, the pair are interrupted by a dispute between the cat and the parrot, who are fighting over a can of sardines. At the end of the battle, neither of them gets the food, as the can falls into the ocean, and Tom decides to feed them separately so that they don't continue the duel. That night, while Felix is asleep, the old man finds a photo of the boy with his father under his pillow and feels sorry for him, because he knows how much Jack is missed in the boy's life. The next morning, Tom decides to teach Felix how to steer a boat and suddenly they are both surprised by the arrival of a storm. Immediately, the sailor orders the boy to get his life jacket and Felix tries to calm the animals, who are paralyzed with fear. Due to the waves, the ship is unstable and the young man is almost thrown into the sea, but luckily he manages to hold on and doesn't fall into the water. However, when lightning strikes the boat, the mast is knocked down and Tom asks Squat to help guide him, as that part of the ocean is full of rocks. Even with the help of the parrot, the sailor can't avoid all the rocks and his boat ends up being destroyed. After the accident, the group has to leave in a lifeboat and row to Dark Shadow Island. As they walk around the place with their flashlights, Tom finds his initials carved into the trunk of a tree and Felix discovers that the old man was once on that island together with someone who has the initials MC. However, when he asks who this person is, the boy doesn't get an answer and Tom tries to change the subject, saying that they need to hurry to set up camp. Then, during the night, 
Tom decides to share his story with that boy and tells him that, when he was 25, he too planned to find Morgay's treasure. Together with his girlfriend, Madeline, he traveled to that island and the next morning she simply disappeared. He searched for her for several months and returned to the island three times with rescue teams, but was never able to find her. His theory is that she fell into the ocean and was carried away by the current. At that moment, Felix understands why the sailor doesn't want to return to that island and feels bad for having made him go there. Meanwhile, in the Madalena Islands, a businesswoman called Morga is negotiating a house on Dark Shadow Island for Bruce and his family. That day, Max decides to leave the house to buy the new game of his favorite video game and ends up being seen by Annie. At this point, the boy has no choice but to tell the truth and tells the woman that Felix has embarked on an ocean voyage to look for his father with Tom. On Dark Shadow Island, the two friends chase Rover through the mountains while the cat tries to catch up with a squirrel. During the race, Tom suffers a fall and has to stop to rest while the cat continues to chase its prey. The animal goes into a crevice formed between large rocks to try and find the squirrel and Felix goes after it, but the boy is too big to go into that hole. When she gets home, Annie calls her sister, but Marlene is having fun on the cruise and doesn't hear the phone ring. So the woman asks her sister to call her back as soon as possible and says there's nothing to worry about. At the end of the call, Mia starts to cry and her aunt tries to calm her down when suddenly the doorbell rings and Annie runs to answer it. In a laboratory created in the Dark Shadow Islands, while Bruce is taking a nap on a stretcher, Morga places a spider on his foot to bite him and then begins the transformation process. The woman then shows the final result to the inhabitants of Forever City and reveals that the billionaire has rejuvenated 20 years after undergoing the transformation. After numerous attempts to move the rock, Felix finally manages to open a passage and enter the cave to rescue Rover. However, on entering the place, the boy discovers that there is a secret passage hidden inside and calls Tom to explore it. Just then, they hear noises coming from the end of the tunnel and have to decide if it's worth the risk to find out what's inside. When she arrives at the door, Annie is confronted by a potential buyer who has seen that the house is for sale and has decided to pay a visit. After looking through the rooms and taking some photos, the man says he won't try to make any negotiations, instead, he'll pay exactly the amount the owner is asking for. However, his only condition is that the residents leave the house by next Saturday. After stating all his demands, the man leaves and Annie receives a call from her sister, in which she reveals that Felix has gone to Dark Shadow Island to look for her father. Determined to explore every corner of that deserted island, the group decides to enter the secret passage and uses their flashlights to light the way as they crawl along the ground to get around that narrow alley. When they reach the end of the passageway, they discover that they have entered a dead end and Felix is disappointed. However, Tom realizes that there is something wrong with those bricks and manages to knock them down with ease. The truth is that someone closed off that passage so that the city built in there couldn't be found. While the pair think of a way to look for Jack in that place, Annie calls the Coast Guard and asks for help to find her nephew. However, when she reveals that Felix went sailing with Tom two days ago and hasn't returned yet, the guard tells her that she can rest easy because the old man is an experienced sailor. That evening, Morga is in her lair with Klaus, who is helping her structure a building project that should be ready by the end of the summer. The tower will start to be built next week and, when everything is finished, there will be dozens of lodgings and administrative offices in place so that Bruce can move in with his family. Meanwhile, Felix and Tom are walking quietly through the facility and are approached by a man who asks when the old man will be transformed. This guy reveals that Bruce Bagwell underwent the transformation process that morning and Tom is surprised to discover that the billionaire is on that island. Suddenly, a guard appears and starts chasing the pair, realizing that they don't belong there. While trying to escape, Felix and Tom run into the mansion and the boy hands over his father's sailor hat so that Rover can sniff it out. That way, the animal will be able to find Jack if he's nearby. Seeing the security guard approaching, Felix uses some marbles to distract him and then uses a slingshot to throw a baseball at the man. After getting rid of him, the boy and his friends have to run up the stairs because another guard shows up to arrest them. However, the man faints after being hit with a yo-yo. Seeing those men lying on the floor, Felix has an idea so that they can walk around the mansion unnoticed and they both decide to wear the uniform of the security guards so that they won't be barred. The group then follows Rover's sense of smell and manages to find Jack's dormitory. Seeing Rover and his son, the man can hardly believe what is happening and weeps with emotion as he hugs the boy. On seeing the images of the intruders, Morga is furious and orders Klaus to issue a red alert. The woman's greatest concern is that these two have some connection to her prisoner. After hugging his father, Felix reveals that he has a sister and Jack is thrilled to discover that Marlene was pregnant when he left. Suddenly, the bedroom door opens and Morga appears in the company of two guards. 
When she sees Tom, the woman is surprised and the old man asks if she is Madeline's daughter. He then discovers that the woman is Madeline herself, who disappeared on the island almost 40 years ago. Since then, she has been called Morga, the same name as the spider that, according to legend, protects the hidden treasure. The woman introduces herself as the leader of the community and says that the residents went there of their own free will, except for one person who got there by accident. Two years ago, Jack found that refuge and has been held prisoner so that he can't reveal the existence of Forever City to the world. The woman hopes that one day he will join her cause and give up rebelling. During the conversation, Madeline receives a call from Klaus and her presence is urgently requested in the control room. When she gets there, she discovers that the banknotes Bruce used to pay her are counterfeit and begins to plot revenge against the charlatan. Meanwhile, the trio remain in Jack's room and the man reveals that he has spent the last two years trying to escape that town, but no one has ever managed to get out. At that moment, Felix reveals that he has found a secret passage, which they can use to get out of there. That afternoon, Madeline sends a guard to their room to fetch Tom and invites him to her favorite tea. During the conversation, the woman recalls that they were very much in love when they arrived on that island and felt extremely happy in each other's company. However, the next morning, when Madeline woke up, she decided to explore the island and ended up falling in front of a cave, where she found the treasure chest. While admiring those beautiful jewels, she felt a small silver spider bite her finger and immediately realized that something in her appearance had changed. The lock of gray hair that Madeline had had since she was 17 had disappeared and her skin was younger. At that moment, she realized that she had found Morga and her true treasure. Minutes later, the woman heard Tom shouting her name, but chose not to answer him, as she was determined to keep the treasure for herself. So she hid in the cave and no one was ever able to find her. When he hears this, Tom feels disappointed, because for all these years he believed that his great love had perished. Even so, Madeline decides to introduce Morga to him and tells him that, thanks to that spider, she had the idea of creating an enlightened community, far away from modern society. Finally, the woman invites Tom to take part in the project and join her in strengthening the community even more. She says that together they will be able to live the love they lost 40 years ago, but all Tom wants is to get out of that place. However, Madeline says she can't let him go, because sooner or later Tom and his friends will tell them about what they saw in Forever City. If that happens, people from all over the world will go after eternal youth, which would destroy the community that Madeline has created with so much effort. That night, while sleeping in their rooms, Tom and Bruce are captured by the security guards and taken to the laboratory. The next morning, when she wakes up, Lydia discovers that her husband has been transformed into a child and she is in complete despair. The same happens to Squat when he realizes that Tom has also undergone the rejuvenation process. Furious, the man goes after Madeline for an explanation and claims that she had no right to turn him. Then Lydia appears and asks what the woman has done to her husband. The businesswoman then reveals that Bruce was planning to steal the spider and flee Forever City, leaving his wife and daughter behind. While everyone was paying attention to the recording, Felix managed to steal the key from one of the guards and is now able to open any door in the mansion. However, Jack says that even if they manage to escape, one day they will be caught and turned into babies, just like Bruce. At this point, Felix reveals that Madeline is planning to turn him into an adult. What's more, if they stay there, Marlene and Mia will spend their entire lives without half of their family. Hearing this, Jack gathers his strength to leave and says that the escape will take place that night. After revealing the plan to Tom, the trio prepare to flee in the middle of the night and, with Rover's help, they find the secret passage they used to enter the city. After helping his friends find their way out, Tom says he will stay in Forever City. Unlike Jack and Felix, he doesn't have a family waiting for him on Madalena Island, so he prefers to stay there with Madeline. While his friends drag themselves down the dark alley, Tom walks into his lover's living room with the aim of distracting her. Just then, an alert goes out and Madeline discovers that Tom has helped his friends escape. She orders the guards to arrest him and then goes after the fugitives. However, on the way to the prison, Tom manages to get rid of the guards and runs into the room where Morga is hiding. Meanwhile, Felix and his father are already on the beach and drag the lifeboat out into the ocean to escape. However, before they could escape, a guard appeared and the boy managed to get rid of him with his slingshot. Then several other security guards arrive on the scene and the pair are arrested. After stealing the spider, Tom runs to the beach and uses the animal as a bargaining chip to negotiate his friend's freedom. However, after Madeline frees Jack and Felix, a security guard approaches Tom and tries to steal the spider. Just then, the container Morga was trapped in falls to the ground and she manages to free herself. So, while Madeline tries to recover her fountain of youth, the three friends fight to defeat the guards and enlist the help of Rover and Squat in this battle. 
With the help of a fishing rod and a baseball, Felix attacks some guards while Jack and Tom take down the enemies trying to capture them. When she finally finds the spider, Madeline goes after it, but Squat steals the glass lid that the woman intends to use to imprison Morgaw and Rover bites her leg. At this point, the businesswoman falls to the ground and accidentally crushes the spider with the back of her hand. Seeing the creature eliminated, the woman despairs and it isn't long before all of Morgaw magic is undone. With the elimination of the spider, Tom and the guards are old again, as are Madeline and all the other residents of Forever City. After saving his friends and ending Madeline's reign of terror, Tom decides to return to Madalena Island with Felix and Jack. Meanwhile, Marlene has just spoken to the Coast Guard, who send a rescue ship to look for the boy. Just then, the man interested in buying the house appears and asks Marlene to sign the contract, but she says that her house is no longer for sale. That afternoon, on the quayside, Marlene and her sister are waiting for the rescue ship to arrive and the woman can hardly believe it when she sees her husband and son approaching. Weeks later, the arrest of Madeline, Klaus and Bruce is reported in the newspaper and Felix is relieved to have his entire family together again. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.